So hi, Hollywood Cloud. I am so excited for your question. Yes, I'll give you an example. You're not the only one that hates algebra. My husband also hates algebra. He hates math a lot. So I'm going to give you an example that I use with him. My husband has been playing fantasy football for, we've been married 21 years, the entire time almost that I've known him. And I helped him make an Excel spreadsheet because as the fantasy football commissioner, he has to manage multiple leagues, um, four or five people per league. Here's a real world example of how he uses algebra. I don't know anything about football, by the way, so I'm making this up. But when they play fantasy football, if their player gets X number of touchdowns, X number of yards, X number of, I don't know, tackles, they get a certain amount of points. So having to calculate that for each game, for each player, for each person is actually algebra. You just represent those as variables. That's an example of algebra. Let me give you an example of something you might actually care about. I'm making this up as well because I don't really get my nails done. So you're going to get a manicure and a pedicure. And let's say a manicure costs 40 bucks, pedicure costs 50 bucks, that's $90 for you. But you're getting married, so now you've got bridesmaids. And you need to get a manicure and a pedicure for each of them. You can represent the manicures as M, the pedicures as P, and then you have to calculate, I'm gonna have five bridesmaids, how much for each one? I'm going to have eight bridesmaids, but three of them don't get their feet done or two don't get their nails done. All of that is an algebra problem where if you represent each manicure times 50, each pedicure times 60, whatever, please let me know if this makes sense to you. That is a real world example of using algebra to represent calculating something that you do every day. Stay fantastic.